Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to match an audio performance to a tempo or a click in Reverb. Now, I did a previous video for MIDI, and this video is going to be for audio. And the purpose of the video is if you write a melody or part, and you're not sure what tempo you played, instead of finding the click ahead of time and wasting that time, you can just play the performance and figure out the click or tempo later. So let me show you how to do it. I've already created a track, put some reverb on it, and set up the input when the guitar or the microphone for the guitar is plugged in. So let's record our melody or our part. But notice the click track or metronome is turned on, and we want to turn that off because we're not playing to a click. Turn it off right here. And now to record the part. Now notice at the end, right over here, the guitar player played the last note or the first note of the next section. This will help us for finding the tempo. So the first thing we'll do is we'll zoom in and trim the left side as tight as possible to the first note. Right about here. Don't worry if you cut it off a bit. We can pull it back later. It just needs to hit that first note very clearly. Like that. Then we'll grab the item and drag it to the beginning of the project. Now, by default, if we change the tempo in Reaper, it's going to change the speed or the rate of the audio we recorded. So if I change it down here from 120 to 300, it's going to sound like this. And we don't want that. So let's double click the item which opens up the media item properties and change the item time base to be time. This way this item won't stretch when we change the tempo. Close it. Now we need to define one length of the melody or part. Hold on shift and double click the item, which creates a time selection. Then we'll zoom in to the end, grab the end of the time selection, and drag the end of it to the beginning of that last note, which is the start of the next cycle. And to check it, to make sure we got it right, turn on looping down here and play it to make sure it loops perfectly. And if it feels right, we put it in the right place. Now, if we didn't play this note, we'd have to place it by ear. So this helps us with the process. So now we need to tell Reaper that this section is a certain amount of bars. So we can right click in the ruler, go down here to set project tempo from time selection. We want to choose the new time signature option not these options over here, this one. And if we choose it, it asks us what the time signature is. If your melody or part is 3-4 or 6-8, put that here, but this one is 4-4. Four, four. And then we'll tell it how many bars we played. Pretty sure it's four. And then we can see down here the tempo it's going to be, about 62 beats per minute. So if we choose this, Reaper changes the ruler to match the performance. So let's hear it. Now we can check it with the click. Perfect. 
Now, it's not always going to be this tight. It depends on how consistent you play. But it's still going to choose the overall tempo you played. So it should be close. So now we can add loops or program a part using MIDI that'll fit this melody or part. So I'm going to go down here and right click. I'm going to import a track from template that I set up for drums. It already has a MIDI part, which is now going to play at the project tempo, which was changed to about 62 beats per minute. So it should be in time like the click was. Let's turn the click off and hear it. Let's try it with a different melody. And again, we'll turn off the metronome and record the part. And again, I asked the guitar player to play the downbeat of the next section. Over here, we'll trim the beginning nice and tight. Then we'll drag it to the beginning, double click it, and change the time base to time. Shift, double click to create a time section and put the end of it over here, right on that last note. We could check to make sure it loops. And it does. So now we'll right click in the ruler and choose set project tempo from time selection, new time signature. Again, it's 4 4. And again, he played four bars. And this tempo is going to be about 64 beats per minute. So now, change the tempo down here. So if we turn on the metronome, found the tempo of what he played. And again, if you want to bring in any MIDI instruments or drum loops with timing, I created another one down here, and it should be in time with Reaper's tempo. And it is. Now, if we want to change the tempo afterwards, we want to go back to the media item properties and switch this back to the project default. And now we can change the tempo down here, and everything's going to stretch with it. We can make it slower. Or faster. And everything is going to be in time. So that's pretty much it. That's how to match an audio performance to a tempo or a click in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!